Welcome everybody to the Miami Heat season preview of the 2024-2025 season. Last season it came off a pretty disappointing end with the first round exit between the Heat and the Boston Celtics. The Heat's looking to have a bounce back season from last season and to have a better record and more importantly a better playoff uh, playoff implication for us as we head into the season. And our, our opener is going to be in two days, October 23rd, between the Miami Heat and the Orlando Magic at Kaseya Center. So already the first game of the season is a battle of Florida. What a way to kick things off there. But um, so we're going to go over this. So last season, last season, it was it was a play in which we lost Jimmy Butler from the MCL injury. He would not come back for the rest of the season. And even if we somehow did, if we somehow did beat the Celtics in the first round, which which we knew that we weren't going to be able to do so, even though they had that pretty crippled run all the way to the finals, which was easy for them, um, we, he would come back within the series between uh, either the Magic or the Cavaliers, if theoretically speaking. However, this it never came to fruition. So, um, so Pat Riley made some pretty slim moves, not being able to get a huge trade in because, of course, they wouldn't. They hate, because he absolutely loves our team if they are healthy, which I understand the healthy part. But if they're consistent, if they have uh, chemistry, then this team would have been really dangerous. That's what Pat Riley was saying. But it remains to be seen with the regular season coming up. However, in the preseason, it looked very promising. Um, what we saw in the preseason, which I only saw one or two games. I don't really keep track of preseasons. But what I did see is, the, is a formal connection between Butler and Hero. It looked like the chemistry is about to come up. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been awesome. It look, they look dangerous. They look really dangerous. So that preseason hope. Oh my God, I think we're gonna have a way better season. Um, so let's go over the roster. So not much has, not much has changed from last season. Not much has changed from last season, other than the fact that we lost Caleb Martin and Caleb Martin um, signed with Philly for less of the deal than what Miami offered him, which was much more than we was going to be paid in Miami than he would have been in Philly. And his agent said, take the deal in Philly. And then Mike, I'm thinking his agent, his agent sold him out. That is crazy. That is absolutely insane to me that it, it happened. But, but anyway, who will be the, the replacement for Caleb Martin if whatever that comes up? Well, well, we have, well, we have some players, so let's talk about it. So our roster of this year, of course, we got Bam, who resigned, who resigned a deal for three years max, that would kick off in a couple of seasons, which is fantastic. I absolutely adore Bam on a bow on our team. He's our best center. His backup center, Thomas Bryant, who eh, I'm not sure about him, but we do have a new, new adequate of of the of the roster, and that is Alec Burke from the Knicks. Alec Burks from the Knicks. He's a shooting guard. Um, he, he will be coming in in the role um, in the event that um, in the event that Rozier is not. And then, of course, you got Jimmy Butler, who went through. Now we know why. Now we know what happened with Jimmy Butler last season. That he was not that serious. It's because because this is a player and a human being that's been through a whole lot. He he's been through a whole lot last season, and um, his he had that I think he had that Netflix documentary where what what went wrong and what happens, and if you know what happens, yeah, you gotta watch the documentary. It it's it's very sad, and Jimmy Butler goes in death. He was not he was. He came out with all the honesty that, you know, yeah, it, it, it was sad. So Jimmy Butler, my sincere condolences. Um, there was a death of the family in February and we found out that it was his father. So I could totally, I could totally relate to what Butler was going through. 
it was not a good feeling. It sucked. But with that being said, he understands how serious it is to have a winning culture of the Miami Heat. No, so in this, no more messing around. Uh, he can joke. He can still do jokes from in there. But now he ha he is now laser focused, laser focused on the regular season. And then when the playoff time comes, he's going to be playoff Jimmy. And that is why I'm very, very optimistic about this season. I, I'm thinking this could be an amazing bounce back season. I think Jimmy Butler is going to play his best season. That's what I think. So, get this man a ring. Next up, you got the two-way Josh Christopher. I talked about Josh Christopher in the Summer League videos. He was the Summer League MVP uh, in the finals MVP when the Miami Heat's Summer League team won it all. And you, when we talked about it, it was pretty awesome. Um, hit him alongside Gashad, Gashad Johnson, Pella Larson, and Kalauer. Um Those guys really contributed well in the Summer League. Then next you got Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero, our point guard. Could he be a starter? Could he be could he be a team player to be off the bench? That remains to be seen. But Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero look like they work they're working very well in the preseason. And I think that was Eric Spolstra's plan in, in the preseason. Get those stars are out there and then you know you know get them get that chemistry for the regular season. And then you got Haywood Highsmith recently re-signed uh, re a deal with the Miami Heat, so he's not going anywhere. Uh, he is our forward. Then you got Jaime Hatcast, who's coming off an absolutely amazing rookie season. Um, Jaime Hatcast, I'm very optimistic about him. Then, well-deserved, Kashad Johnson, who, made, who has been amazing in the Summer League and and. I would expect no less that he would make the main roster. So, congrats to him. Jovic played a hell of a lot better in the, in the Heat season last season. He's finally getting settled in. And I think I think Jovic, when the time comes, I think he's going to produce some points. Pelel Larson, welcome to the Miami Heat officially. He has made the, the roster. Um, then, of course, you got Kevin Love, who will be the backup power forward. Josh Richardson, who's going to come out of the injury. Uh, then you got Duncan Robinson still playing his best basketball. Still our three-point king and the fastest one to do so in hate history. Terry Rozier. Pat Riley said he is our big free agent signee, even though it was a trade in the midseason. He will be our starter, uh, Terry Rozier. And thankfully, he's back. And those next, uh, the neck problems that he had, uh, hopefully it's gone away. Drew Smith. Uh, coming off the ACL injury, um, Achilles tear, I forgot what it was. But he's coming off injury, so welcome back to him. And then, of course, Kalel Ware uh, obviously made the roster. And that's well-deserved. Uh, well-deserved to make the roster spot, Kalel Ware. I'm very excited to see what's in store with Kalel Ware. Um, I would have, I, just, just a minor complaint, I would have loved if Isaiah Stevens somehow made the roster. I, I understand what they're trying to do, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not thrilled about Isaiah Stevens not making it to the roster. At the very least, put him in the G League, but don't waive him. But uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I would have loved, I would have preferred if they kept Isaiah Stevens. That's just me. That's just me. Uh, Eric Spolstra is still our head coach, and uh, um, and. And obviously, I, I still love Eric Spolstra as our head coach. He's not going anywhere. Um, so now let's talk about schedules because we don't have to talk much about the coaching. It's it's all more or less the same. Um, like I said, Miami Heat looking to have a bounce back season. And they start off with the Orlando Magic at Kaseya Center on Wednesday. It's a 7.30 tip off. Then uh, they go to Charlotte. Their second game, Charlotte Hornets. 
for the second game. Then the next game is going to be against the Detroit Pistons. Following that match is against the New York Knicks. So four games in. Then after the New York Knicks game, which is going to be on the Wednesday, the 30th, our first November matchup is going to be in Mexico City. They're go uh, hit us and the Washington Wizards are going to be traveling to Mexico City. And it's going to be a 9.30 Eastern Standard Time tip-off at Mexico City. It's going to be on NBA TV. So um, just keep that in mind right there. Uh, then we then we come back and this and this schedule is so strange. They go to Mexico City, come back to Miami to play the Sacramento Kings, which is an eight fifteen tip off, and then already they travel out west to play the Phoenix Suns, uh, which is which thankfully it's a one hour early tip off, uh, nine o'clock tip off on November sixth. Then following the Phoenix Suns, they go up to Denver. They go to Denver, Colorado. Uh, to play against, you know, our, our NBA Finals opponent from last couple of seasons ago, the Denver Nuggets. Also a 9 o'clock uh, tip-off. We're going to play against, you know, jo uh, Jokic, uh, Gordon, Crawford. Fuck. Then then uh, we go, then on a Sunday, 7 o'clock tip-off, we go to Minneapolis. We go to Minnesota to play against the Timberwolves, and yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> we this this Heat the Heat team uh, they, they for some reason match up poorly against the the Timberwolves. Although although then although then again they they trade away Carl Anthony Townsend the Knicks, but they still got Randall. They still got Davencio. Uh, I think I think that was an odd. I think that was a strange trade to do, following. Following a Western Conference final appearance, then NBA Cup. The the um, we're gonna I'm gonna do a preview of that when the time comes. NBA in season tournament group stage group plays. Our first match gonna be at Detroit. We're playing against the Detroit Pistons in Detroit, Michigan. That's our first match. That's gonna be a Tuesday the 12th, and then the, our next game is on Friday, which also means NBA in season tournament play. We play against the Pacers. That's gonna be tough. That is going to be really tough. So after that game, we stay in Indiana to play against the Pacers on Sunday. So the Heat's not going anywhere. Back-to-back matchups with the Pacers in Indiana. And that ends a pretty long road trip. However, the day after, the 17th is the Pacers game. The reg Just a regular season, not the NBA in-season. The regular season, that's the 17th. The 18th, the Monday now, it's a back-to-back. -back. They fly back home to play against the Sixers. They play against 76ers, who are gonna we're gonna see some our old friends, Lowry, uh Martin, um just to name cup just name one more. I think he I think he went off somewhere else. Uh PJ Tucker. I think he went off somewhere else. But uh, but then after that, the Heat gets some days off. Have a little, uh, have a little few days of rest. Some, you know, bye week kind of thing. But th but they play again. They play again on Sunday, the twenty fourth, against the Dallas Mavericks. I'm surprised that it's not a national television type. But who cares? Um, then, speaking of national television, Milwaukee Bucks. So the Bucks come in town for the NBA in season game. In season tournament game group play. That's our third one, and that's going to be in Miami and TNT. Yeah, here we go. And then it's a little bit worse. It's a back to back now. We go up to Charlotte to play against the Hornets again, and then come back down for our final NBA in season, uh, final final in season tournament group play between the Heat and the Toronto Raptors, and that concludes November. <clears throat> that concludes November. So that game, that Toronto Raptors game is going to be on the 29th. And our first defense, uh, December matchup is going to be uh, against the Raptors in Toronto on December 1st. That's a Sunday. And then the back-to-back. -back, a back-to-back -back game between us and the, and the Celtics in Boston. Great. Then we go back. We finally go back to Miami to play against the Lakers. NBA t that's going to be on NBA TV. Then, three days later, the Suns come in town, and then 
Cleveland comes the day after. It's a back-to-back -back. once again. And now there's a huge gap from December 8th to December 20th. Um, so now it all comes down to, and then I've, I learned this from last season. I learned this from last season that if a, a team in a group play doesn't make it to Las Vegas, um, they'll have two more games in between the days when they'll be in season tournament play in Las Vegas. So it remains to be seen. But until then, we have a break. <clears throat> we won't have a break. So it all depends. It all depends between the days of December 8th and December 20th. Because December 20th is going to be our next regular season play between the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Miami Heat. Great. Then it's a back-to-back -back game. We go to Orlando. We go to Kia Center on December 21st. Then we come back home to play against the Brooklyn Nets. Then a little Christmas break, and then go back up to Orlando on the 26th to play against the Magic. Then we go to Atlanta to play against the Hawks. Then we go back west to play against the Houston Rockets, and that concludes uh, 2024. <coughs> Excuse me. New Year's Day, we play against the New Orleans Pelicans. Very excited for that matchup. Then the back-to-back -back again, play against the Pacers. And then after that, we play against the Utah Jazz. The Jazz plays is going to be playing at Miami, and then, and then we go out west. We go we go out west for about ten to eleven days. So, oh boy, that's going to suck. That's going to really suck. Uh, we go to Sacramento first to play against the Kings. Then we travel southwest, a little southwest to San Francisco to play against the Warriors. That's going to suck. Then we go. Then we go to Utah to play against the Jazz. Come back up to the West to go to Cascadia Region, the Portland Trail Blazers, and then go right back to California for a few days in Los Angeles to play against the Clippers, which we're gonna be playing. Which at that point, <clears throat> the Clippers will have their own brand new arena. It's gonna be in Inglewood, Inglewood, California. It's gonna be right across the street from SoFi Stadium. That's where the Clippers are going to be playing at. And then we go downtown to Crypto.com to play against the Lakers. Then we finally go back home. A two-day rest. Only only one day in the air. And then go, go play at Kaseya to play against the Denver Nuggets. Great. Then Sunday matchup between the Heat and the Spurs happened. We're, we're, coming, we're going to be welcoming Chris Paul and Victor Wimbanyama. Then following the, that game is going to be the Portland Trail Blazers. Then we go up to Milwaukee. That's going to be a TNT game. Then we go to Brooklyn. We go to Brooklyn Nets. We're going to be taking out the Brooklyn Nets in Brooklyn. Then we fly back home playing against the Magic. That's our last matchup with the Magic. And then following that game, it's going to be against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now we go to February. Now we go to Texas to play against the Spurs. Then we go to Chicago to play against the Bulls. That's this is February now. Then the back-to-back -back, uh, from the Bulls to Philadelphia on, on the 5th. After the Philadelphia game, we go back to Brooklyn to play against the Nets. Then we come back home to play against the Celtics. That's going to be fun. Not. Uh, then we go to Oklahoma City to play against the Thunder. <clears throat> that's, gonna, that's not going to be fun. And then we go down south to play against the... <clears throat> the Ma the Mavericks, and then All Star break. Then we have it. We have some days off. It's an All Star break, so we get to take a break or watch the NBA All Star, whatever we want to do. So that's so that's nice. Then after the All Star break, we start our All Star um, second half of the season. Well, theoretically speaking, um, against the Toronto Raptors in Toronto, Canada, at Scotia Bank Arena. Uh, then we go back to Milwaukee on an ESPN match. Uh, Sunday tip-off on ESPN against us against the Milwaukee Bucks. And it's also another back-to-back. -back, because after that game, we go to Atlanta. We go to Atlanta to play against the Hawks. And then uh, we come back home to play against the Hawks again. This is February 26th. Then we play against the Indiana Pacers on the 28th of February. And now March comes along. <clears throat> the Knicks are in town. So we're going to see the, the Knicks play against the Heat at Kaseya. 
Following that game, it's another back-to-back. -back. It's going to be us against the Wizards. And then we go to Cleveland to play against the Cavaliers. Come back to Miami to play against the Timberwolves. And then the Bulls come in town for back-to-back -to -back, <clears throat> back -back games for the Heat. From the Timberwolves and into the Bulls on March 8th. Uh, then March 10th, it's going to be against the Charlotte Hornets. Then the next match is going to be against the LA Clippers. Following that game, is going to be against the Boston Celtics. Great. Another NBA TV matchup. <clears throat> Looking forward to see that. Then we go to Memphis to play against maybe John Morant uh, and Memphis Grizzlies. Then we go to New York to play against the Knicks on ESPN. It's going to be an ESPN game. Then we go back home to play against the Detroit Pistons. Following that game, it's going to be against the Houston Rockets. Then following that game, it's going to be against the Charlotte Hornets. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the next Golden State Warriors come in town. Um, then the Atlanta Hawks come in town a little bit after that. Then we go to Philadelphia again. Then we go to Washington, D.C. to play against the Wizards. That concludes March. April now. Then we go to Boston again. Uh, that's a national television game. Then we go back home, which is the freaking other back to back, March second to March third. We go to we play against Memphis at home, so that's fun. Then <clears throat> Milwaukee comes in town. Great. And then following that matchup, it's against the Philadelphia 76ers. Great. That's gonna be fun. Then we go back to we go back up to Chicago to play against the Bulls. Then we go, we go, we finally go back out west for the last time, but only one game. New Orleans, Pel New Orleans Pelicans. We're gonna be, we're gonna be in a quick trip to New Orleans, and finally back home, uh, back home for the final time against the Washington Wizards. That is the regular season. That's eighty games, eighty games so far right now. There's gonna be two more games in between the days of December eighth and the December and December twentieth. It all depends on how the Heat does in the in season. Tournament group plays, <clears throat> but we'll see what happens. So that's the schedule. That's the schedule right there. Um, in terms of my prediction in this team of this of this season with the Miami Heat, <clears throat> I'm going to say they're going to play a lot better than last season. I think the chemistry is going to be better now that Jimmy Butler is going to be make, uh, laser focused on the regular season. He's going to take things very seriously now. I think his chemistry between him and um, Bam Tyler Hero, especially, I think everyone, I think, I think he's going to have their backs. They're going to have he's going to have the Heat, the, the Heat players back, his teammates back for the season. And I hope, and I hope that the teammates have Jimmy Butler's back as well. I hope everyone has each other's backs. Hold each other accountable in case and when something goes wrong, but they have to be a team player for the rest of the season. I think <clears throat> this is my prediction. I think the Heat are are gonna make it to the playoffs, straight up playoffs. They're not I don't they should not go anywhere below they shouldn't be anywhere below six seed, which is the play in. They should not go to the play in this season. Not no more back to backs. I want this team to play serious. I want this team to win. I want Jimmy Butler, especially Jimmy Butler and Bam out of bow. Even even Bam out of bow, the two time gold medal um, gold medalist. I want him to have an NBA ring. I want this team to succeed, and I think they can do it. If they can do it, well then have, we're gonna have ourselves a trip to the NBA Finals. But that's only if they have we have each other's back, and that's only if we have chemistry and we take things seriously. And we win some games, produce points, produce rebounds. Because we got the height. I think we have the height. It's only a matter of how we're going to utilize the height. And I think we can do it. And as long as the team is healthy, I think they're going to make it far. So that's my prediction. They go to the playoffs with a better record than last season. They should, they should be able to handle the playoffs better than they did last season. But either way, there you go. That's going to do it for this video. If you like this video... Hit the like button, subscribe for content because Miami 2G has your back. And when he does, hit it right there with the entertainment you deserve. All right, Heat fans, that's the preview. Let's go Heat. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday for a Heat recap. Good night, everybody.